in this tutorial we will learn how to communicate data between two microcontroller we will do OSAT data communication here using the PIC microcontroller let's see the closer look at the OSAT module the universal synchronous asynchronous receiver transmitter OSAT module is one of the two cell input output modules OSAT is also known as a cell communication interface or SCI the OSART can be configured as a full duplex synchronous system that can communicate with peripheral devices such as CRT terminal and personal computer or it can be configured as a half duplex synchronous system that can communicate with peripheral devices such as AD or DA integrated circuit cell EPROM ETC. The OSART can be configured in the flowing modes as synchronous full duplex, synchronous master half duplex, synchronous love half duplex. In this tutorial, we have used synchronous half duplex data transmission for OSAT communication. Synchronous transmission In synchronous transmission, data is sent off from a blocks or frames. This transmission is the full duplex type. Between sender and receiver, synchronization is compulsory. In synchronous transmission, there is no gap present between data. It is more efficient and more reliable than asynchronous transmission to transfer the large amount of data. In simplex transmission, data is transmitted only one direction. Data will be transmit terminal 1 to terminal 2 or terminal 2 to terminal 1. This is our circuit schematic. It is two part, one for transmitting data and other for receiving data. We are connected 5 LED with receiver and 5 push button with sender. If we press any button, the specific LED will be activated. Here's the sender code. We have wrote the code in Microsoft Pro for Peak Compiler. Here's we are included UART library. In define section, we have defined unsigned character variable whose name is UART underscore RD. In main section, we have to define UART module at 9600 kilobit per second. We have to need 100 milliseconds TLA which establishes the UART module. Here we have set the port B in output port by clearing TSB register. Now we have to clear the port B register value. Here we have to set the port B value of UART underscore read variable is 0. In main loop we have created a AB statement which check the receive data. Here's the UART on date underscore data underscore ready function to test if data in receive buffer is ready for reading. The UART on underscore data underscore ready function return 1 if data is ready for reading and otherwise 0 if there is no data in receive register. Using the UART on underscore ready function you have to read the receipt data and put the value into the variable uart underscore rd we have to write the uart underscore rd variable value in port b this is our simple sender code in this code we have included uart library in the define section we have defined an unsigned character variable whose name is uart underscore wr in main section, we have defined UART module at 9600 kilobit per second. We have need 100 millisecond delay which stabilizes the UART module. Here we have set the port B in an input port by setting TSB register. Now we have to clear the port B register value. Here we have set the value of UART underscore WR variable is 0. In main loop section, we have to write the port B value in UART underscore WR variable. We will transmit the UART underscore WR variable value using the UART1 underscore write function.